I'm a sixth generation farmer, grew up just around the industry and I ended up working for the vet here at the, at the sale barn and I really liked like that whole aspect of it. Michael Drotsman is a man of many talents. He is athletically and agriculturally gifted and he applies a rugged work ethic and a can-do attitude to everything that he does. He just started chanting as an auctioneer at the beginning of June at Stockman's Livestock. Yeah, it's one of the top top sale barns in the in the country. It's we do we sell a lot of fat cattle and feeder cattle through here, and we have our special way up sales on Mondays. So it's 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 a big deal, and I'm it's it's pretty surreal. It's kind of like playing jackrabbit football. You know, it's it's a top program in the nation. It feels it's really special to be here. Yankton is Drotsman's home. He lives on the family farm just a few miles north of town. And after an outstanding high school career playing football for the Bucks. He went off to study animal science and play football in college. Football at SDSU was amazing. It was everything I could have dreamed for. Those guys made it memorable, and that's what I wanted when I went to college. You know, I wanted that experience, and we got a championship done for Coach Stig and everything. And I was happy at that point, and I was ready to step away and just kind of get on with life. And now here I am, living another dream. Since his early days working at the sale barn, Drotsman knew that auctioneering was something he wanted to try. So after last football season, he went and took a one-week class at Auctioneer College in Bozeman, Montana. Basically in auctioneer school and everything else, you start with your numbers. You, got, you have to have your numbers in there because that's what you're saying, but everything else that we call filler words. A few filler words I use is dollar better now, one dollar better now, two dollar better now, three dollar better now, four. Get along here now. Hey, don't get along here, don't bear, don't bear, don't bear, don't bear, don't bear, Yeah, it's just here, don't there, don't where. I mean, there's a lot of different things you can do with it. So it's just practicing, and you might listen to a guy that you like, and you just try and impersonate that guy. So, yeah, and that's what I try and do pretty much every day. I just find somebody I like, and I try and get really good at that. When he was in high school, Drotsman says he used to practice on the farm while he was driving around in the tractor. Today he works on his craft by selling whatever he sees. Oh yeah, I'll drive down the road and, and I'll just, you'd be selling telephone poles. Well, that's too easy because they're all spaced the same space apart, you know? So it's, if you get in a rhythm of doing it the same, well, the bidders aren't bidding at the same time, or you know, at the same rhythm. So I like to do cars pass me by and te telephone poles. Do you want to bid for me? You can bid with each hand or whatever. Uh, dollar bill, now pull on, one dollar here down two, down two, get a dollar here down three, now get a bid on three, down four, down dollar four, down five, down five, down six, 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 down seven, down here down seven, down here down six, down here down to get a bid on seven, sold them, 106. Yeah, so you just driving down the road and boom, 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 practice. Once you figure it out and get smooth with it, there you go. There are certainly similarities between auctioneering and athletics, the preparation and the concentration. In football, you could make a comparison to playing fast but not being in a hurry. And it could be patience and timing in baseball. And that's another sport where Drotsman shines. He helped Lesterville win its way to the South Dakota Amateur Class B State Championship game this summer. You know, to be honest with you, I think baseball is more of a love than, to me than football. I've always enjoyed baseball. My dad played. Um, for Lesterville, who I play for now, amateurs for a long time. It's all these small communities, small town baseball. These guys, these kids either grew up playing together or they're all farmers and neighbors and that's how it is with our team. Well, a bunch of us are farmers and neighbors and really good friends. So just getting out of work for a couple hours and, and just hanging out with the guys and playing a sport you love against good teams also every night. And that's, that's really fun. It's, you can't compare it in small town baseball, it's just, it's amazing. At the end of the day, Drotsman is working in sales, and in fact he is an area representative bringing in clients for his employer. And in the arena, his tongue twisting talents become the bridge between buyers and sellers. You're making that guy's money for the whole year, or you know, a certain time of year. It's, it's kind of a lot of pressure to be you know, behind the mic making that producer as much money as you can get. But you also, you got to work with everybody, get the buyers here and, and talk to all your producers and make sure everything's in line. And, and it's, it's, it's just like a football game or a baseball game. It's a performance. You got you to gotta be locked in. He knows he can get better. He studies the stock and he pays attention to the markets. And like somebody once told him, he tries to go 1-0 every day. And that's what Coach Stig would preach to us. And that's what, especially in the special teams room, we would just, we would help each other. 
if you can do that, you can you can take yourself a long ways. And that's what I think with these guys here. They've, they've been really good role models to me and helped me out. Well, South Dakota State invited Michael to do his thing at the SDSU scholarship auction this past April. He was great, hopes to be asked to do it again, and he helped the athletic department raise a record amount of money this year. This has been Midco Sports Magazine presented by Build Your Base with Beef Sports Nutrition and Training Program.